once far away, light years, distances beyond thought, a great slender ship with a tail of fire slid through the black reaches of space. On that ship was Satine, a prisoner named Satine. Words cannot describe his evil, his criminality. He had been captured by Commander Yave after decades of search and evasion in a blood-drenched battle that claimed hundreds of lives. But shortly thereafter, Satine escaped in a tiny scout craft, a fantastic escape from that spaceship. And soon he found a hiding place on the planet Earth. Zatine was a mutant, his genes transformed. A mutant with a primal wish to kill, but evolved to new psychic and occult powers. He used these powers to spread destruction and death. In order to find and destroy Zatine, Commander Yave tried many methods. One of these methods was an immense army of birds, trained to hunt and to kill. But when these birds did discover Zatin, he transformed himself into an eagle and managed to destroy them all, except for three which survived and wounded him fatally in the brain. But Satin, now dead, lived on in another way. Before he was killed, he mated with earth women, procreating numerous children, thereby transmitting his wicked spirit and evil powers through new generations. Yet the struggle continued and still goes on, for Yahweh's descendants pursued the progeny of Zatin, lest their contamination spread through the cosmos. it happened again. Her name is Katie Collins, and she'll be eight years old.
We're going to have a center court jump, and here we go. The tip is controlled by Atlanta. two offense. They will try and work the ball to the high post. And they do. To Lane, who shot from 15 feet is good. Atlanta has scored again. Abdul is still not in the basketball game. Atlanta has a chance to take the lead. He cross court past the lane. Who shot is good. out on the court and we're going to see if we can talk with Ray Armstead, the owner of the Atlanta team. And Ray, things are going well for you tonight. Yeah, they sure are. I mean, now you're downplaying how well the team is doing, not only tonight, but so far this year. Why? Oh, we've just got a good team. Right? Well, I'll tell you this, Ray. They have done very well all year and you have done well. But we want to find out what kind of owner Ray Armstead is going to be. Well, we're going to uh, change it from a Losersville to Atlanta again. How are you going to do that? With an open checkbook. How open is that going to be, Ray? Quite open. Quite open. Where does this money come from? You do not have a sports ownership backup. Ray, answer me. Well, there's no answer I can give you on that one. Yes, you can give us some kind of an answer. Where does the money come from? How you say you're going to have an open checkbook, and you say it's going to be very open. Where does the money come from? Oh, uh, God. of that ankle injury that sidelined him for a couple of minutes earlier in the basketball game. Which explosion? The first explosion, one ball, or the second explosion, two balls? <laughs> <laughs> How come you don't explode when we're making love? Uh, where'd that come from? Well, man, I'd like it better if you made a little noise, a lot of noise. 
<laughs> That's another one of your jokes. Can we talk seriously? We're always talking about talking about talking, but we never talk. Can you talk seriously? <laughs> no. <laughs> Marry me, Barbara. Settle this. It's settled. I can't marry you or anyone, Raymond. It's been seven years. Seven and a half years, to be exact, since my divorce. He was a fine man. A very fine man, and I loved him very much. I swore then that I'd never... What's the matter with you? Let us see it. Raymond. You treat me like a normal person, and I thank you for it. But I'm not a normal person. There's something... I can't explain it, Raymond. There's something wrong inside, something terrible. You shouldn't have pushed me this far. It could mean the end of you and me. But I know I have to tell you. Tell me what? It's Katie. No, oh. oh, she scares me, Raymond. There's something I don't know. She's... She... You don't know. You can't even imagine, but... My baby, my little girl, and it, she came out of me. It's not her fault. You see? Oh, I don't want any more children, Raymond. You're crazy, Barbara. be eight in a few days, Squeaky. There'll be a big party, and they'll give me a lot of presents. It was right for now to kill this other babysitter. Did I scare you? You deserved it. You always leave me alone, and I've always got to play alone. Here's my babysitter. But one of these evenings, I'm really going to kill her. She's always asleep. And why aren't you asleep? You don't love me, Mother. I know it. You leave me alone too much. And that's not fair. I'm tired of it. And this house is too big. And what do you want, honey? States before? It's my first time. What is the purpose of your trip? I'm a visitor. I'm a pretty bird. I'm glad you love it. I'm taking it. Nice for a church, huh? I'm a pretty Ooh, Hey, wait a minute. Katie would love this. I saw it. Come on. I'm a 
Gives me the scary creeps. Well, nice for Katie. I'll take Thank it. Thank you. It'll make a nice extra birthday present for Katie. Thank you very much. sure of what you're doing? Yes, I am. Are you ready? Yes. Come in, Raymond. You're going to have a marvelous team, Raymond. The best. It's going to be very easy for you to win now. Are you pleased with what you have? Is it what you wanted? Yes, I am, of course. Good. We're in great danger, Raymond. The visitor? Katie has been designated for that. Your problem is her mother. Time is not on our side. He means on your side. We realize, Raymond, that Barbara is resisting strongly that she doesn't want more children. Up to this point, you have failed. Barbara has refused to marry you. And for us, this is a very serious matter. We've always believed that it was not necessary for you to understand everything. But now, we feel compelled to reveal to you our real motive. Raymond, I'm going to tell you something of tremendous importance. But I must warn you that any mistake on your part now would have appalling consequences, both for you and for us. Barbara is a miracle of nature. She carries in her womb something which transcends the world of everyday reality. She is able to give birth to children of immense powers, both natural and supernatural. She is the only woman of this generation who carries the genes of Satine. 
She was assigned to you, so far without success. We want to do everything in our power to assist you, Raymond. And we feel that events in the next few days will help your mission, and that you will achieve our intent. But we've invested a great deal of time and money in you, and we cannot wait much longer. We need another child like Katie. Barbara must give birth to a brother for Katie. Power corrupts, Raymond. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. But we must have that power.
Here's the bullet into the left flank, traverse posterior of the left kidney and into the spinal canal. Will there be paralysis? I'm afraid so. Permanent? In all probability. twist of yours was nearly perfect. I'm getting better. I'm getting perfect. I will be perfect. By the way, how's your mother, Katie? Well, my mother didn't die, but she just won't be able to walk anymore. Oh, oh, I missed you too, Molly. Oh, she's home now, sweetheart. You're going to have to be a very grown-up little lady now. Your mommy needs all the help she can get. Oh, I'll help her. Raymond and I will both help you. Oh, well, I'm glad the two of you get along so well. Because it looks like the three of us will be together for a while. Oh, Mommy, I'm so glad. Now we'll be a family. Yeah, but a uh, musical bird, uh, and that yeah. is a little tiny uh, matter bird. You mean like a canary or a parakeet? Or a, parakeet? Yeah, a parrot. A parrot. It's a uh, winding. Then after you winding, there's a uh, music come out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, did you bring it home in what? A, a cage or a box? It was wrapped. A rat? What do you mean wrapped? A gift wrapped in a box. Um, how was the shooting done? I, I really don't know. But answer the question. It happened so fast. I tell me what happened. I mean, exactly. I don't think it was this present that was opened. Open, so I came in, and no one answered. I'm I, I'm the new housekeeper uh, from the agency, uh, Jane Jane Phillips. <laughs> I'm Barbara Barbara Collins. How do you do? Thank you. Oh, you have such a beautiful house. It, it's exquisite. What, what lovely taste. Um, you know, I bet that you're Libra. Yes. And your rising sign is uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. That's right. And your moon is Leo. I knew it. Leo. I'm a Leo too. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You know, I hate to work for women who are Virgos. <laughs> They're maniacal about neatness. Mm. You know, and 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 Capricorns. Capricorns are the worst. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> Oh, just a 
hobby of mine. Artificial birds. They make me feel less lonely, and I don't know, I think they protect me. Careful. Squeaky might rip them apart. And anyway, I don't like them. Mrs. Collins? I do. Well, Katie, then that's settled, isn't it? I'm going to miss the bus. Katie! Don't you need this to further your education? Are well, you going to be here all the time? Well, for now, just days. But it sort of depends on you, doesn't it? I, I just, uh, I wanted to talk to you, Katie. I thought maybe if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a question. Yeah, now, isn't there something that you'd like to say to me that you haven't said before? Yeah. Hey, what's that? You fuck yourself. No, wait, wait a minute here. Now, that's, that's no way for us to get started, is it? Hey, look at me. Now, listen, I could, uh, I could wait in the car, you know, until you finish class. Is that what you want? I don't like you. You're a child molester. I bet you do dirty things to children. You know, I'm worried about you. Jesus, everybody's worried about me. Susan, my mama, grandmama. They have to go worry about themselves. Worry hogs, worry war. Don't worry about some perverts like you. I'm smarter than all. Oh, maybe you are. Maybe you are. But let me tell you what, let me ask you just one last question, and then I promise I won't, uh, I won't ask you anything else. What happened to the gift your aunt gave you for your birthday? You better write it down. other than the kids, no manufacturer's marks, and no serial number. Files off. And have her on. The test showed negative. Even the shell casings are anomalous. Figure that out. Now listen to this. It is impossible to ascertain from examination of the wrapping paper and accompanying gold seals whether the package was opened and resealed before the child in question received that shit. We need a ma magician on this case. I want to know how that gun got in that box, and I want to know who put it there. Well, that rules out the kid. Where would an eight-year-old kid get a gun? And the mother swears that gun was never in the house. OK. What about the bird the aunt says she put in the box, huh? The shooting was an accident. I mean, it's got to be some kind of wild damn accident. Yeah. The gun in the box, that's, a, that's another matter. Look, Jake, I got a hunch that we can dig all we want, and sooner or later, we're going to have to just close the case. But what about the kid? She doesn't seem shook up at all. You'd, you'd have thought she would have been. I swear she seemed glad it happened. Yeah, that bugs me, man. 
That really bugs me. Inspector One, Central Dispatch. Inspector One, do you read me?
it, put on the lid. Mammy's going to make a little shortening bread. And that ain't all she's going to do. Mammy's going to make a little coffee, too. Mammy's little baby like shortening, shortening. Mm. Oh, Mrs. Collins, i got to warn you. I don't do windows. Oh, mm. uh, Jane, what do you think of my daughter? Katie? Yes. Want the truth? Mm-hmm. She's bad. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bad? She's just a little girl. Mammy's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mammy's little baby loves shortening bread. Miss Collins, maybe this just isn't the right time to bring children into this bad, mixed-up world. Some of them... Uh, are confused. They think that the forces of evil are stronger than the forces of good. <laughs> Is that another one of your astrological theories? Miss Collins, you know, a great philosopher said that our characters are our fates. And some scientists now believe that planets somehow understand this. You be careful. You ward off the influences of Saturn. You have suffered enough. You understand?
name. Can I help you? Uh, I'm the uh, babysitter. Babysitter? The babysitter? <laughs> People are often surprised. From the agency? The home service. What happened to Nancy? No idea. They telephoned me and sent me. Oh, come in. Excuse my surprise. We usually get teenage girls. Well, I'm definitely not that. This is Katie. Katie, stop playing with the elevator. It's not a toy, you know. Mrs. Collins is confined to a wheelchair. Barbara, this, believe it or not, is the babysitter. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. Jersey Colesowitz. Please call me Jersey. I'm Mrs. Collins. Nice to meet you. Well, I'm ready. You look beautiful tonight, Barbara. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and you, young lady, be in bed by 9.30, hmm? Good night. Not a strange guy. He's got to be the oldest babysitter I've ever seen. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Jane said he was coming. You don't think he's a child molester, do you? <laughs> of course not. The agency screens out their sitters very well. What about you? Aren't you a cripple molester? Oh, well, I would be if you gave me a chance. You know, Barbara, tonight is a very special night. I've got a wonderful surprise for you. You have? What is it? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now, try to remember a very deep part of you. Another world, another time, another existence. Other beings. Yes. Yes. Why did you come here? Before we get on with the dancing, there's one final announcement I'd like to make of a more personal nature. I feel that we are all one big family. And I want you to be the first to know that as soon as we can make the arrangements, I intend to marry the lovely Miss Barbara Collins. You want to kill me? I don't want to kill you, Katie. I want to take you away with me when the time comes. Only if uh, you refuse to go. Why don't you just see if you can do that right now? When the time comes, when my friends arrive. Your friends? Oh, very special friends. You'll come with me. I mean, we'll get the hang of this. I won, I won! See? You used your powers to make it go faster. No, I didn't. I used the switch. You want my advice, old man? Yes. Go back to wherever you came from. This world is not for you. It's not for you either, Katie. Where the hell do you think you're going? Let me go! How could you dare say a thing like that? I want my freedom! You want your freedom, you know you can't even walk. Anybody, not you or anybody. Listen, Barbara. It's not going to get any easier as the years go by to find someone. And I'll grow old alone. No. No, you won't. I'm going to be right there with you. Come here.
How did everything go? Quite all right. Kitty went to bed right on time. Good. How much do I owe you? Uh, $15. $5 an hour agency charges. She's a remarkable little girl. You must be uh, very proud of her. <laughs> yes, I certainly am. Here you are. Good night. Mommy, you have to marry Raymond. You have to marry him. I don't want you to be all alone in this house anymore. You're selfish, Mommy. I love you very much. Katie. My God, what are you doing here? Call for you, Mommy. Aren't you going to answer? Come on. Hello? Barbara? Oh, it's you, Raymond. Are you alone? No. Katie's here with me. Oh, Mom, let me say hi to Raymond. Hello, Raymond. Hi, Katie. Yeah, wouldn't it be great if we were all here together? You and Mama could make love, and I would have a baby brother. Oh, Katie, it's getting so out of hand. That's not true, Mother. Raymond, you can talk her into it, can't you? You know I love the both of you, Katie, but let me talk to your mother now. Barbara, I have some very important business in San Francisco to happen to you first. Please, please. Come and say goodbye to me at the airport tomorrow. Oh, Raymond, I feel so confused right now. I'll think about it. Good night. Bye. Mommy? Huh? Did you read my note? Yes. I tore it up. <laughs> Barbara, you're so beautiful. <laughs> It would be useless, Raymond. We were wrong to leave Barbara in your hands. She's too strong for you. She's refused intervention. Now, a more efficient method has been chosen. See Raymond off, you're too late. Why, Dr. Walker, what are you doing here? I came to see my daughter off. She left on the same flight. Where did Katie disappear to? Here. Let me help you try and find her. I'm pleased that we met here by chance today, Mrs. Collins. You haven't been to see me these past few weeks. 
Well, uh, it hasn't been easy, Dr. Walker, adjusting to this whole new way of life. That's exactly why I wanted to see you. May I call you Barbara? Yes, of course. Why do you do things like that? Sometimes I think it gives you some sort of strange pleasure to see me suffer. Mommy, I'm sorry. I just got lost. Katie. Hi. Why don't you try and convince your mother to come over to my house? <sighs> Let's go, Mommy. We're always stuck at home alone. Dr. Walker, I promise that will come another time, but I'm exhausted right now, and I think it would be better if Katie and I would go home. All right. We'll let you off this time. And we'll take a rain check. Agreed? My number is 75141970020. Can you give me your name and location, please? I'm Mrs. Barbara Collins, and uh, we're stalled on Interstate. I mean, we're stalled on Route 28, about 15 miles from Interstate 85. I'll need a description of your car, Mrs. Collins. Oh. Oh, yes, the car. It's a blue 1978 Thunderbird. Just a moment, please. Our service truck will be there within 30 minutes, Mrs. Collins. Thank you. They'll be here in a half hour. That truck scared you, didn't it? No!
look so good. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, they got a lot of crazy mothers running around out there. I know where you're coming from. Tell you what, we gonna check this out real quick like first. Cause I ain't about to be getting my butt shot off. Listen, Billy. You take this one for yourself. I just remember. I ain't supposed to be working tonight. I'm on unemployment. No, man. You coming with me. Come on, get your butt out of here, man. You wanna walk or something? old crazy-ass drunk woman on a kid. Hey, Mama, we here to fix your car. My mama isn't feeling very well. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here. Uh, please hear me out. I'm here to help you, Mrs. Collins. You've been feeling strange lately, Barbara. Confused. This confusion has been transmitted to you from another time, another place, beyond human knowledge and understanding. They're forces, inhuman ones, out of this world, and they are unspeakably evil. You were the key to their power on this planet. They sought to use you once in their evil game, and they succeeded. This will not happen again, but you must do exactly as I say. Last night you were taken by violence, you are pregnant, Barbara. <laughs> pregnant with a child conceived out of their hatred for this world. This child must never see the light of day.
नमस्कार मिस खालन Tell him you're here. My, don't you look nice, Doctor? Miss Collins is here to see you. Okay. He'll be right out. Okay, Jimmy. You listen to me. See what happens when you go playing out there on that field without your shoes on. Never again, huh? And I'll tell you something. As you are a real brave little guy, I'll see if I can talk your mama into buying you an ice cream on the way home. Okay? How about four ice cream? Excuse me, Mrs. Moore. I have to have a word with my ex-wife. Hi, Barbara. Hello, Sam. How have you been doing? I need to talk to you. Okay. Come up to my office. Fine. Afraid we're a bit overcrowded here. This is as near to an office as I get. But what do you need to talk to me for? You're the only one I can trust. The only one you can trust? Huh? Why do you trust me? I'm just an overworked doctor sweating my guts out day and night in this under-equipped dump. You wouldn't even let me into your fancy hospital when I tried to visit you after your operation. You prefer to be surrounded by beautiful people. Who take good care to keep their noses way up please. there above any of the, the ships that might is, be flying around down Sarah, here. Please, let me talk. The princess has come slumming. I'm here because I need help. Desperately. I need help from you, Sam. Now take it easy, okay? I... All right? It's all going to. Uh... Hey, hey. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Now, what is it? Hmm? <laughs> Let's hear what it's all about. Come on. Okay? You tell me, and I promise to do what I can. Well, yes? People, people are staring at me. People are watching me. There are evil people doing things to me. No, look, honey. Hey, Mom! Mom, you home? Are you still here? Why, yes, I am. Where's my old whipping boy? You will say, where is my mother? Are you crazy? Where is she? <clears throat> For once, once in your life, you will be polite. Now say it. Say it. Where is my mother? What have you done with her? Not nothing. Nothing. I've done nothing to protect her, dear. Don't be alarmed. God damn you, you tell me where she is. Right? No! Don't you talk to me like that! How dare you talk to me or anybody like that? I don't remember the moment I walked into this house. The moment I got here, I recognized you for what you were. You little monster. You see, unfortunately, 
I had one of my own. I know how to treat them. So, you be careful. You watch out, or you'll be sorry. Now, if you really must know where your mother is, she left a while ago. With a very nice, elderly gentleman. So you're pregnant? Yes. I seem to remember you told me many times you didn't want any more children. I don't. But something unbelievable happened. It all took place without my knowledge. I can't have this baby, Sam. You've got to help me get rid of it. So you want an abortion? Yes. And you want me to do it? Uh-huh. When? Right away. You're quite sure? Yes. God, why does everything have to happen to you? Your accident, the wheelchair. Now you want an abortion? The problems with Katie? Everything began with Katie. I tried to ignore the whole situation. I pretended it didn't exist. But that's not possible anymore. I know now. I've got to do All something. All right, I'll do what you want. But I'm afraid the rest will have to be up to you.
Richard. I've been sent here to protect you. No one, no one can hurt you anymore. over. I should be leaving soon. With Katie? With Katie. 
Jersey. Where do you go to? My home. Where I come from. It's a lovely place. Beautiful and peaceful. Beautiful and peaceful. Where would that be? Far away. Beyond the imagination. It sounds wonderful. Jersey, I'd like to go with you. I'm afraid no one may enter there except the children. I remember. But you know, I've been around children so long, I think there's something childlike about me. I... I've never met a man like you. Ever. You've been of great help to me, Jane. Thank you. need to recover the affection that she feels is lacking. I don't think she fully realizes what happened now or then. I'm afraid she's going to need extensive therapy. There's no telling for how long. Mommy, Mommy, I know you're there. Please, don't leave me here. I'll be good. I'll be good, I promise. Take me home, Mommy, please.
You? Answer me. Why are you so scared of me, Mommy? Why did you leave me in that terrible place? I know I've been really bad lately, but that's all over now. I want to hug you, Mommy. I'm sorry. Please don't be angry anymore. Can I have a kiss? Mommy? Can I have a kiss?
has become just like the others. She thought I wanted to kill her. You can't kill children. Only the evil part. That's no more.